see everyone. I am trying this technique one more time. I'm going for a wood grain effect that looks like natural wood. And I've tried it a few times and it's not quite turning out the way I was hoping it would. So I'm giving it another shot. So I have three panels here. I have them clamped together, covered in black. And I'm now layering my cups. And I have a mixture. I did some yellow, orange, brown, and like a rust color. And more of like a reddish, reddish brown, I guess. I added some uh, neon to the yellow and orange because I wanted to make them more transparent so they will just suck up more of the black underneath. That's kind of, kind of my, um, I'm hoping that's going to work. So I'm just layering these in the cups. I'm going to do four this time because I want to make sure I have two covers. And um, also the yellow and orange, I've actually used Dollarama paints because you see me more transparent anyway. And then the neon brightened them up, but hopefully it will suck up some of the black underneath to give it a more natural look. So, I don't really know what to expect. I'm starting to think that I can't really, uh, I can't get this fat. I got it once on like a, just playing around with practice paints and I haven't been able to recreate it, which is really discouraging. So, I will keep trying. I'm hoping this brown gives it, no, wood brown, so I'm hoping that it gives it a bunch of colors to go with it so that it will, uh, Look more like wood. All the different shades that you see in wood. So we'll see. Just putting a little bit of the uh, the reddish one in, just to, hoping it'll show up in a few places, just to give it more of a an exotic look. And I'm going to use a lot of paint. <clears throat> I'm going to pour a lot of it off, probably. It picks up a lot of the black underneath it, it's going to give it a lot of, uh, it create a lot of colors. So it's going to look like shading and... I'm just putting a little tiny bit of the yellow when I put it in.
I am more than enough. Before I was going for a little bit of separation between them, but it's not really looking the way I want it to, so I'm not going to do that this time. Mm. Yeah, I'll just pour. Oh, a little bit of black. See what we get for rings. I did not have to do too much tilting. I ruined the, ruined the rings. It could do too much. That's why I'm using a lot of extra paint. I'm already like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm already feeling like it's not going to work because I guess because it, um, I've had, I tried this so many times now. Not on a big scale, I've tried it <clears throat> two of the times on a size this big. But I've done a lot of little practice ones on a little canvas and straight to like 20 and I'm still not happy so. We'll see. It's just paint, right? <laughs> Which way do I want to go? I don't have a lot of separation, so I'm not going to add. But that is looking really dry right there. It's not going to move. black here just to help it along well I need a torch this because I see bubbles popping up I don't want a whole bunch of black popping up through and making a whole bunch of black polka dots Well, maybe it would help, help it more, look more like wood, who knows.
mess up my rings. I want to come this way a little bit. Doesn't look good. I just know that the effect he wanted was like one big board, so I don't know what with this with the separation here. I might put another ring here and another one here. But it's I think it's not bad. Um So I did end up adding another pour, a ring where I said I was going to. Um, try to turn this camera around. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. But anyway, I did put one another one right in the middle and then one over the side to cover up the black and just tilt it forward and then back. You don't want to do too much side to side because you'll ruin your rings. So I just go right to the edge as soon as the middle part kind of goes away, or most of it, and then I come back, like the opposite direction. And yeah, so you definitely need the um, Dollarama um, neon colors. It just, I just got paint on my face. It makes it a little more transparent and it'll pick up the browns. So you'll get all these different shades and I think that's all I um, unclamped it after I had them poured and then separated it and then let, let it pour down over the side I hope that helps <laughs>